This guy didn't just kill his ex, he cut off her thumb so he could unlock her phone and tell her family that she's still alive. Can you imagine? So this news first broke yesterday. So we're really talking really recent news. Fernando Cronenbold was allegedly furious with his ex, Patricia Rodriguez, because she announced that she wanted to start a new life with a new guy. Prosecutors in Cipolletti, Argentina, say he killed her and buried her in a shallow grave. Before burying her, he used her right thumb to unlock her mobile phone so he could tell her friends and family that she was okay, they claim. So he was actually arrested in his ex's car trying to flee a police checkpoint and on his clothes they were all bloodstained. So after first confessing to the murder, Fernando actually came up with a very bizarre statement and he said that she'd actually been executed by drug dealers over a debt. So he actually claimed that he'd been trying to pay off the traffickers but they killed his ex anyway and told him and their six year old daughter that both of them would be next. He then claimed that they forced him to bury his ex. So actually, despite this, prosecutors say that when Patricia's phone was sending messages after she had died, it was actually in the same space as Fernando's phone. Two days later, her body was found 37 miles from her home in Catrio, Argentina. Patricia, who originally hailed from Bolivia, was actually due to fly later that day to Buenos Aires to pick up a visa to fly to Rome in July. Then her plan was actually to reunite with her boyfriend, a 27 year old Italian man she'd actually met in February. So Fernando had actually told the court that the traffickers had actually rang him and told him that they had Patricia in hostage and that they wanted £33,000 for a release. He goes on to say that he arranged to meet them, turning up with his savings of 1.2 million pesos, which is this in pounds and this in dollars. But the armed pair said that it actually wasn't enough. What he goes on to say after this is fucking mental. He goes on to say that these men take out Patricia's dead body and put it in the boot of her own Renault. He says that the men ordered him to bury her in the spot that she was later found and then go and tell the police that he had done it himself. Ruben Antiguala told the court that the victim, Patricia, was actually involved with strange people who provide loans and pay debts. The defendant, Fernando, actually said that I don't know if it was for drug trafficking or not, because I talked to her every day and we got along well. He said that he doesn't know what the debt was for, but they were armed and they told him to bury her. So you know how I said earlier, she was gonna get a visa and go to Rome? It was to meet this guy I'm about to talk about. The victim's boyfriend told Argentine media that he actually killed her because she made big changes in the last three months. The changes were she renovated the house, she renovated the store she worked at, and she bought a plane ticket to go to Italy with Francesca. And fourth, of course, she asked him for a divorce. So this trial is still ongoing as it's literally just come out. So who do you think did it? Was it the ex? Was it these drug traffickers? Did they force him to do it? Is there such a thing or has he made that up? I don't even know. It's a little bit wild to be honest. But if you want to see me finish it, just drop a like and subscribe. That's how I know you want to see more, you know. Um, but yeah, see you soon.